Wednesday, the 7th of September, 2022. First reading. A reading from the first book of Corinthians. About remaining celibate, I have no directions from the Lord. I give my own opinion as one who, by the Lord's mercy, has stayed faithful. Well then, I believe that in these present times of stress, this is right, that it is good for a man to stay as he is. If you are not tied to a wife, do not look for freedom. If you are free of a wife, then do not look for one. But if you marry, it is no sin. And it is not a sin for a young girl to get married. They will have their troubles, though in their married life. And I should like to spare you that. Brothers, this is what I mean. Our time is growing short. Those who have wives should live as though they had none and those who mourn should live as though they had nothing to mourn for. Those who are enjoying life should live as though there were nothing to laugh about. Those who life is buying things should live as though they had nothing of their own. And those who have to deal with the world should not become engrossed in it. I say this because the world, as we know it, is passing away. Responsorial Psalm Listen, O daughter, Give ear to my words. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your lord, pay homage to him. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendour, his robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the kings. Sons shall be yours in the place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the earth. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Gospel acclamation, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whenever anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him, hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. Fixing his eyes on his disciples, Jesus said, How happy are you who are poor. Yours is the kingdom of God. Happy you who are hungry now, you shall be satisfied. Happy you who weep now, you shall laugh. Happy are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal, on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy, for then your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. But alas for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas for you who have your fill now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who laugh now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when the world speaks well of you. This was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. Gospel of the Lord.